The Wynans family holds a revered status in the world of gospel music, often regarded as gospel royalty for their significant contributions to the genre. During the 1980s, they pioneered a distinct and innovative sound that revolutionized sacred music, making it accessible to a broader audience by blending traditional church melodies with the smooth, soulful aesthetics of R&B. This fusion of styles not only honored the spiritual roots of gospel, but also brought a fresh contemporary feel that resonated with listeners across different musical tastes and backgrounds. The Wynans' groundbreaking approach helped to bridge the gap between gospel and mainstream music, earning them widespread acclaim and establishing their legacy as one of the most influential families in gospel music history. It's not surprising then that the second generation of this illustrious family, notably siblings B.B. and C.C. Wynans, developed a close and enduring friendship with the late iconic singer Whitney Houston. Much like the Wynans, Houston rose to prominence during the 1980s, and her rise coincided with B.B. and C.C.'s emergence as leading voices in contemporary gospel music. The timing of their careers, coupled with their mutual love for music that celebrated both faith and soulfulness, created the perfect foundation for a deep and meaningful connection. Their friendship wasn't just about making music together. It was about sharing a common bond, rooted in their spiritual upbringing and their understanding of the power of music to uplift and inspire. The Winans and Whitney Houston shared not only a professional connection, but also deeply personal ties that were built on their shared roots in church music. For both, the church was where they first found their voices, learned to sing, and nurtured their talents. This shared spiritual foundation made their relationship feel more like a family bond than just a professional collaboration. For B.B. and C.C., growing up in a family that cherished music and worship, they saw in Whitney someone who understood the same love for gospel music. Similarly, Whitney found in the Wynans a reflection of her own musical roots, as she too began her career singing in church choirs under the guidance of her mother, Sissy Houston. Sissy Houston was herself a towering figure in the music industry, with deep ties to gospel and secular music. As a respected vocalist who had performed with some of the greatest names in the business, Sissy was a bridge between the traditional gospel world and the wider music scene. Her influence stretched across different genres, and she was known for mentoring younger artists, including her daughter, Whitney. Through Sissy, there was a natural connection to Detroit's legendary music scene, where the Wynans family was already well-established. Detroit had long been a hub for musical talent, from gospel greats to Motown legends, and Sissy's own career was intertwined with this vibrant community. She had close relationships with musical luminaries like Aretha Franklin, who was not only a queen of soul, but also a singer deeply rooted in gospel music. The connections that tied the Wynans family to Sissy Houston, and by extension, to Whitney, were thus not just about shared interests, but also about a mutual respect for the craft and for the spiritual essence of the music they all loved. The blending of gospel and secular sounds that the Wynans popularized found a reflection in Whitney's own career, as she moved effortlessly between pop, R, and B, and gospel, bringing a unique sensibility to everything she sang. Whitney's ability to convey emotion and depth in her performances resonated with the same heartfelt sincerity that characterized the Wynans' music. Moreover, the collaboration between B.B. and C.C. Wynans and Whitney Houston was emblematic of how their paths were meant to cross. Whitney often spoke of how much she cherished her friendship with the Winans, and this bond was further solidified through their musical collaborations. Together, they created music that bridged the secular and the sacred, bringing a sense of reverence and spirit even to mainstream hits. Their performances were more than just entertainment. They were expressions of shared faith, joy, and love for music that transcended the confines of genre. Whether they were singing gospel or R and B, the music always carried a message of hope, resilience, and unity. Through the years, their friendship grew deeper, strengthened not just by their collaborations, but by a mutual understanding of the pressures and challenges that came with fame and success. For B.B. and C.C., as well as Whitney, navigating the world of music meant balancing their love for gospel with the demands of a competitive and sometimes harsh industry. Yet, their ability to stay true to their roots while reaching new heights in their careers was a testament to their strength, talent, and unwavering faith. They understood the struggles that each faced, and this empathy made their bond unshakable. In many ways, the friendship between the Winans family and Whitney Houston was a beautiful example of how music can bring people together, not just to create beautiful songs, but to build lifelong connections that celebrate shared values and love. 
It was a friendship that celebrated not only the joy of music, but also the power of faith, resilience, and the spirit of community. Their legacy lives on, not just in the music they made, but in the love and respect they had for each other, which continues to inspire fans all over the world. Although BB and CeCe Winans and Whitney Houston shared a deep connection through their love of music, their backgrounds and upbringings were markedly different, which added a unique dynamic to their friendship. BB Winans spoke candidly about these differences during an interview on Sway's Universe, where he highlighted how these contrasting experiences shaped their relationship and made it even stronger. As BB shared in the conversation, Whitney was straight up from Jersey, which in his words meant she was undeniably hood. This wasn't just a casual observation, it was a reflection of the grit, confidence, and boldness that defined Whitney's personality on stage and off. She brought an edge and an urban flair that was a key part of her identity and charm, something that resonated strongly with fans across the world. Growing up in Newark, New Jersey, Whitney was immersed in a city environment that exposed her to the vibrant, sometimes tough streets, where she developed a sense of resilience and street smarts. Her upbringing in Newark, often referred to as Brick City, contributed to her no-nonsense, down-to-earth attitude, and she carried that energy with her even after she became an international star. Despite the fame and the glamorous life that came with her success, Whitney never lost touch with her roots, and this authenticity was part of what made her so beloved. She had an aura of relatability, a sense of realness that allowed fans from all walks of life to connect with her music and her persona. On the other hand, Bibi and Cece Winans were brought up quite differently, even though they too hailed from a city known for its musical heritage, Detroit, Michigan. Unlike Whitney's more urban, streetwise upbringing, BB and Cece were raised in a deeply religious, sheltered environment. Growing up as members of the Winans family, a household famous for its devotion to gospel music, they were brought up with strict values centered around faith, family, and the church. Their lives revolved around singing hymns, attending church services, and adhering to the teachings of the Bible. Music was a central part of their family's life, but it was always framed within the context of worship and spirituality. The Winans family was a cornerstone of the gospel music community, and their influence in Detroit was profound. Detroit, known as the Motor City, was bustling with musical innovation, particularly with its rich Motown history. Yet the Winans upbringing was largely insulated from the secular sounds that characterized the city's music scene. While other kids in Detroit might have been sneaking around to listen to the latest Motown hits, BB and CeCe were raised on gospel music and were encouraged to use their voices to glorify God. This environment instilled in them a deep reverence for their craft and a sense of purpose that carried them through their careers. Bibi's reference to being sheltered in the church wasn't just about their family's religious devotion. It reflected a way of life that was more protected, guided, and insulated from some of the harsher realities that Whitney experienced growing up in Newark. Bibi and Cece were used to the support systems that their church community offered, and they didn't encounter the same kind of external pressures and streetwise lessons that Whitney did. This kind of upbringing could be seen in their music, which often carried messages of hope, love, and divine grace deeply embedded in gospel traditions. Their songs were a source of comfort and inspiration, resonating with those who found strength in faith. Despite these differences, Bibi, Cece, and Whitney found common ground in their shared love for music. Their friendship was a beautiful merging of worlds. Whitney, with her powerful voice and commanding stage presence, could deliver soulful ballads and pop hits that resonated universally, while BB and Cece's smooth harmonies brought a gentle, comforting feel to their gospel tracks. The contrast in their styles made their collaborations special. They could bring different flavors to the same dish, creating a blend that was richer and more flavorful than what they could have achieved individually. Whitney's Jersey Edge and the Winans' gospel refinement were not at odds, but rather complemented each other. Whitney's larger-than-life personality added a bit of spice and energy to their interactions, while BB and Cece brought a calm, steadying presence that often helped to balance things out. For Whitney, who was known for her struggles with fame and the pressures of the entertainment industry, her friendship with the Winans provided a safe space where she could reconnect with her roots and find solace away from the glare of the spotlight. BB often spoke about how much he and Cece loved Whitney like a sister, and that love was reciprocated. Despite the differences in their backgrounds, Whitney was drawn to the warmth and sincerity of the Winans family. She admired their dedication to their faith and appreciated the fact that, in their company, she could be herself. 
without pretense, without having to live up to the image of a glamorous pop icon. The bond they shared was not just about music. It was about a deeper connection rooted in mutual respect, love, and understanding. Whitney could talk to BB and Cece about things she might not have been comfortable sharing with others because she trusted them and knew they would never judge her. While BB and Cece's religious upbringing could have set them apart from Whitney, it instead became a foundation for their friendship. Whitney's appreciation for gospel music was no secret. Many of her performances, even in secular venues, had the energy and passion of a gospel service. When she sang, it felt like a prayer, and that was something BB and Cece understood deeply. Their music, even when infused with R&B elements, always carried a message of love and spirituality, qualities that Whitney also embodied in her own way. They spoke the same language when it came to music, a language of emotion, soul, and transcendence. Their friendship also extended beyond the studio. They supported each other through life's ups and downs. Whether it was celebrating successes or navigating personal struggles, they were there for one another. For BB and Cece, Whitney was not just a colleague or a collaborator. She was family. And for Whitney, the Winans were a reminder of the power of love, faith, and resilience. She could count on them to pray with her, laugh with her, and simply be there when she needed a friend. In many ways, their friendship was an example of how people from different walks of life can find common ground and build something beautiful together. It was a testament to the fact that, despite our differences, we can connect on a deeper level through shared passions, values, and mutual respect. The relationship between Whitney Houston and the Wynans family continues to be a shining example of how music can bring people together, bridging gaps, and creating lasting bonds that transcend the constraints of background and upbringing. It wasn't just about blending sounds, it was about blending hearts, minds, and spirits in a way that created harmony both on and off the stage. B.B. Winans shared one of his fondest yet most unforgettable memories of his dear friend Whitney Houston during an interview with Sway Calloway, Heather B., and the rest of the crew on Sway's universe. The story, as he recounted it, perfectly captured the essence of Whitney's vibrant, spirited personality, which often reflected her roots as a Jersey girl. Despite the glitz, glamour, and elegance she exuded on stage and in front of the cameras, Whitney was always authentically herself, bringing that same energy no matter the situation. BB began by setting the scene, reminding everyone just how quintessentially Jersey Whitney was. I don't care how many gowns you put on her, she was Jersey, he said with a knowing smile. He then launched into the story, recalling a time when he, along with Whitney, Cece Winans, and Whitney's close friend Robin Crawford decided to catch a movie together. It was meant to be a low-key, casual outing, with the four friends slipping into the theater quietly after the lights had already dimmed, hoping not to disturb the other moviegoers. But as BB would soon find out, their plan for a quiet evening was about to take an unexpected turn, thanks to Whitney's outspoken nature. BB and Robin had taken seats directly behind Cece and Whitney, who sat next to each other. The group settled in, and as the movie began, Everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves. However, it didn't take long before Whitney, known for her animated reactions and her love of commentary, began whispering her thoughts about the movie to Cece. Although she was trying to keep her voice down, her enthusiastic comments were anything but quiet. Bibi described her as speaking in a loud whisper, sharing her reactions to the film's plot twists and dramatic moments. I don't believe that girl's gonna do that, she'd say, her voice filled with disbelief and humor. Whitney's ongoing commentary was amusing to Cece, but it didn't sit well with everyone in the theater. In particular, there was a couple sitting directly in front of them, a white woman and her partner, who quickly became irritated by the continuous chatter. The woman kept turning around, shooting them annoyed glances, clearly hoping that her silent protests would convince Whitney to quiet down. But if there was one thing Bibi knew, it was that Whitney wasn't the type to back down easily especially when she was in her element, surrounded by friends and enjoying herself. Bibi, who was watching the interaction from his seat behind them, could sense that things were beginning to escalate. He understood why the woman was frustrated, but he also knew that asking Whitney to shut up was not going to end well. Things just boiled over, Bibi said, building up the tension of the story. After enduring Whitney's commentary for a while, the woman finally turned around, visibly exasperated, and bluntly told Whitney to be quiet. Her exact words, according to Bibi, were, shut up. In that moment, Bibi's heart sank. 
He knew that this was the kind of situation that could lead to fireworks, given Whitney's proud, assertive personality. I just went to praying, he said, recalling how he instinctively sought divine intervention. Oh, oh, Jesus, he whispered to himself, hoping that a higher power would step in to defuse the situation. He was well aware that the fiery side of Whitney's personality was now fully activated, and he feared things might get out of hand. Yet, for a few seconds, it seemed like his prayers had been answered. Whitney sat back in her seat, seemingly calm and composed, as if she was going to let the incident slide without any confrontation. But the calm didn't last long. After about 30 seconds of silence, Whitney made her move. In true Jersey girl fashion, she leaned forward, reached out, and grabbed the woman's ponytail, giving it a sharp, deliberate tug. The suddenness of the gesture shocked everyone, and Whitney, unfazed, delivered her message loud and clear. Don't you ever talk to me that way, she said, her voice firm and unyielding. Then, with a flick of her wrist, she released the woman's hair, tossing her head back towards the screen. Bibi couldn't help but chuckle as he retold the story, despite the chaos it must have caused at the time. It was a classic Whitney move, bold, unapologetic, and true to herself. For Bibi, this moment wasn't just about the humor or the drama. It was a testament to the authenticity that made Whitney so endearing to those who knew her best. She was unafraid to stand up for herself, and even in moments that might seem outrageous to others, she was just being Whitney. There was a kind of unfiltered honesty in her actions, a rawness that made her stand out not just as an artist, but as a person. The way B.B. told the story, it was clear that he wasn't just sharing an anecdote for entertainment. He was painting a picture of the Whitney he knew and loved, the friend who was fiercely loyal, who stood up for herself, and who was unafraid to be her authentic self, even if it meant ruffling a few feathers. B.B.'s memories of Whitney often reflected this mix of affection and admiration, showing a side of her that went beyond her public persona as a global superstar. To him, she was still that Jersey girl who brought life and laughter wherever she went. Whether she was dazzling audiences with her voice or sparking a minor commotion in a darkened movie theater. Bibi's recollection of this incident also highlighted the closeness between Whitney and the Winans. It wasn't just about their musical collaborations. It was about the shared experiences, the laughs, and even the tense moments that forged a deep bond. Whitney's friendship with Bibi, Cece, and Robin was built on years of understanding, love, and support. And this story was just one of many that illustrated how they navigated life's ups and downs together.